everyone, Sharon here from Scrapple Cottage. I've had the opportunity to play a little bit with some alcohol inks and uh, isopropyl alcohol on clear transparency. And I thought it was so fun. I wanted to show you all how I did it. So first step is we're gonna take our isopropyl alcohol and we're just gonna pour it into a non-porous container. So I just have a little pottery container here. Next, you are gonna take an eyedropper. I found these just at my local pharmacy, two in a package, and very generously, you are gonna drip at least two eyedroppers full of the isopropyl alcohol all over your clear transparency. Well, maybe two and a half, why not? Next step is you're gonna decide on your color. So I'm gonna try a purple and gold combination. And actually, this is really easy. Once you remove the lid, literally, you're gonna drip and drop all over your background. So as you can see there, I did about 10 drips and drops. Next, I'm gonna take my little hand blower and start to move my color around. And as you can see, it's gonna move around quite nicely where it's floating with the isopropyl alcohol. And then yet, it's gonna be a little bit darker purple when it goes and gets blown onto the clear transparency. So once you're happy with the way your background looks, you can take your alloy. There's a little ball in there, you hear that? You gotta make sure your alloy is properly shaken up. And now what's cool about the alloy is the pigment and the little alloy metallics are actually gonna move around and sit on top of your color. So you can get this really fantastic veining and really fun looks. Now if I would leave it, everything, the alloy, you can see it wants to merge together. They actually want to join each other and touch each other. That's what it wants to do. So if you want your alloys to be a little bit more separated, what you have to do is you have to direct your air right on that alloy, almost as it's drying, to make sure that it stays separate. So this is just one of those techniques you can keep playing and playing, and the look is essentially gonna change the more you blow the alloy around and the more you blow, blow your color around. Now, the more generous you are with the isopropyl alcohol, the longer it's gonna take to dry on your acetate, because remember, we're using a transparency or an acetate. It is non-porous, so when you're using something non-porous, it's gonna take a long time to dry. We're just gonna keep blowing it, and as it's almost dry, you can decide if this is the look you want, or if you wanna actually go in and add more alcohol and more pigment, you can do that. Anytime you work with alcohol inks, you can add a little bit more alcohol and you can wake up that color and play around again. My project is pretty much dry. So I'm gonna lift that up and show that to you. So you can see that beautiful intense sparkle. Not quite dry, it's still moving around just a tiny little bit, but I'm actually happy with that movement because I think it's gonna look really cool on that end result. So this is the purple and gold combination. The purple I used today was amethyst and the gold I used today was gilded. I used regular 99% isopropyl alcohol and once again, no name eyedropper in glass and don't let one color combination stop you. Here's your amethyst with the sterling. Here is the color Fiesta with Gilded. Here's the color Bottle Green with Gilded. Here's the color Cranberry with Gilded Alloy. Look at that beautiful Christmas red. 
And here, teal's always my favorite, is the color mermaid with the sterling. So many different color combinations. Really, your project, it looks even different as it dries, and it's a whole bunch of fun. So I encourage you to play with your alcohol inks, and thanks for joining me today.